Anyways. See, you got... Hey. I swear Shh. to God. Let's just get this thing started. <laughs> Let, you know what? Let's just light it up. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the third episode of that knife show. We're already on three. We're already on three. <laughs> we're not fired yet. <laughs> we're we're still trucking right along. Hey, I to trucking. So, um, speaking of trucks, what do you think about that the new Ford F one fifty? I don't. I don't know. All electric. Isn't all that electric? what you said? Yeah, that's cool. I mean, the torque's going to be out of the out of this world, but I wonder if it's going to be like the. Uh, the cyber truck that Tesla's coming out with. Like, are you, are you trying to tease things to come? Uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you for joining us for episode three of That Knife Show. We've got a lot of knives to show you. Um, so let's get to showing. Up first on knife news. Um, first off, a little bit of sad news. Prolific designer Helmut Germer passed away on May 7th. That was just a few days ago. Um, uh, he designed the uh, famous Germer EDC fixed blade from Boker. We'll have a picture of it yeah. come up. Uh, most recently, he did some work with uh, Real Steel as far as production knives goes. Um, so... Uh, our hearts reach out to his family and everything. Um, in other knife news, Andrew Demko, formerly uh, of Cold Steel, has released his first production knife under his own label. Um, so uh, we're really excited to get to see those really soon. We might get to go see, see him himself at Blood yeah. Show, right? So that's I know what we're we've hoping got him for. on our list of yeah. people to talk to. So, um, so oh, we're Andrew, gonna... if you're watching this, we're a small channel, but you know, yeah, we like your stuff. We do. We like your stuff a lot, and we're looking forward to hopefully seeing you and talking to you at Blade Show coming up very, very soon. Um, I believe when this airs, it'll be even sooner. Yeah, it'll be like a week from when this airs. So, uh, folks, definitely stay tuned during Blade Show. We're going to be bringing you daily updates in photo uh, across all social media, as well as video. We're going to be posting nightly on all social media from Blade Show, so check that out. Um and lastly, in knife news, uh, this is the year of the Elementum for Civivi. Uh, they've got a fixed blade ele That's a fun Elementum. Word to say. Elementum? Elementum. Yes. They've got a fixed blade Elementum coming out. It is on the way. We don't know when it's going to be. Civivi didn't say when they were releasing it. Um, but we do know the MSRP on it is $99.40. Uh, it is coming in. They picked a different blade steel. They didn't go with um, D2 or anything like that. They went with 10 CR15 COMOV. Rolls off the tongue. <laughs> and uh, I mean, if I throw my name in there and, and all that crap, it, <laughs> what, what was what was the the oh, yeah, uh, the, we, uh, the, the the SOG uh, the, Terminus XRLTE? <laughs> the, oh yeah, the XRLT <laughs> just a bunch from of SOG. Letters. This is TC with SMKW. Yeah, we had that one day on the Daily Grind. I'm, I'm here to tell you all, I did like 10 takes trying to get all the letters TC out. TC here right with room. SMKW introducing the SOG XLR LTE. <laughs> um, and that fixed blade elementum is coming in with uh, contour G10 handles. It's a little bit bigger blade size from what I was reading. But again, we don't know when that's actually going to be released. But Civivi is coming out with that. So, um, oh man, what are we doing next? <laughs> oh, uh, well, we're that was doing, knife news. We're uh, doing check. A, uh, new knives. Oh yeah, new knives. Yeah, we got to talk about that. new knives. Yeah, yeah. We well, um, well, we've been going through a lot of new knives lately. Oh my gosh, it's um, almost hard to keep up with. It so, is so it's, many. It's I think very more the, the, the delay from last year has like set this year up to be like almost like the year of the knife because. There's, you know, even from Case having stuff that they had to hold back that didn't come out till this year with the the Pocket Hunter. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's there's a lot of things that people have just waited on, and they're coming out now. So it's yeah. very exciting time right now. In yeah, the, it is. Industry. Yeah, it is. Um, so let's uh, let's jump right into it. Do we want to pull one out of the case first? Uh, yeah. Well, no. Let, let's just finish off the. Well, is, are finish these, off the table. Let's finish yeah. off the. These table. are both new knives. Yep. Um, we'll start off with this K bar. Um, Space Force TDI. 
Now we know you folks have been waiting on that. The, the Space Force knives have been doing really, really well. I forgot my tinfoil um, today. We, we we are not wearing our tinfoil hats. Maybe if I just, but maybe this aluminum cup. Will Space help. Force, it's a thing. Um, and we've got uh, we've got all their blades that they need. I don't. These are stupid popular. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, like, I mean, and it's like I that novelty say, thing to kind of. I kind of like it. Yeah. I well, you, like it. He, he's, I got, he's bought some. I got the no. I got the one. I got the big one. <laughs> Um, I got the, the USSF Space Force. It's for stabbing um, the big aliens. Yeah. And then uh, we also got the Courser. For the um, little folder. aliens. And then we got the TDI um, right here. Uh, comes with the um, sheath there, the Kydex sheath. Let's look at that one up close there. Um, if you ever lose this knife, it's your fault. <laughs> uh, now, do you have this one pulled up there? Oh, yeah. If you could stay on top of that, here. that'd be great. There we go. <laughs> Now, this one features a 2.31 inch Aussate stainless steel drop point blade with that gray powder coat finish and uh, textured blue Zytel handles. Uh, it is full tang. It is a fixed blade. Um, it is 0.12 inches thick and is 5.62 inches overall and weighs in at 3.2 ounces. And it comes with the uh, Kydex gray sheath with the belt clip there. And um, those are spaced out. So, I mean, any universal uh, clip will work if you want to change that out and um, put it on like a Molly something or other bag or um, backpack or whatever like that. So, uh, I mean, if you if you want to wear this into space and, and put it on your bulletproof space. Vest, it almost looks like a boomerang. Yeah, it does. But I hope that this one doesn't come back when I throw <laughs> it. I can tell you that right now. Well, you know, the uh, you forgot to talk about the uh, the most important tool that they sell, the pry bar. Yeah, you know, yeah. if your your space shuttle gets well, stuck on Mars, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to have something to pry that thing open with. Yeah, space bar. Space bar. <laughs> I, I'm having too much fun with with this. that one's coming in at forty six ninety nine. We're gonna have the links to all of these items in the description down below. Um, so trucking right along, this has become, I, I will say, uh, we just got these in, I want to say yesterday or today, um, at the time of filming this. And we both already bought one. And we both already <laughs> bought one because, uh, yeah, this because thing is nuts. Because we're hipsters and it's a cleaver blade. Yeah. We're hipster cleavers. Woo! Um, oh, man. No, I've cleaver. really been wanting a Condor for a long time. Yeah. Man. This one just kind of made me pull the trigger. Uh, the Primal. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what this model is called. Let me pull it's the primal fixed blade, Fr primal. Cleaver I know they have a primal blade. line of stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I'll let you put it on the the pretty screen. Let's look at that one up close. Um, this uh, primal right here. I'm gonna clean that off because um, that is disgusting. It's got all that new new new, new gook on it. All that new new gook. The new gook. It's, we talk about that new new y'all. I don't know if you guys have ever paid attention, but we are really weird about knives here to the point where we actually smell them when they come in, and uh, it's uh, well, you do. Well, um, um, not all of us. I, I don't know who the we is you're talking right, about. You got I, a mouse in your pocket? You don't or ever smell like the smell of new shoes. Well, yeah, but and not new knives. I'm not shoving a blade up my nose. Well, I'm not shoving it up my nose, but look, just smell it. No, just smell it. You already made me smell it. See, I told you he smells knives. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is that Condor Primal Cleaver fixed blade knife. My car to handles. And uh, really cool um, texture there to that. It's not a really, I mean, it's smooth, but it's not slick. So great texture on those micarta handles. Comes with the lanyard and the bead, the which is a nice little nice. touch. The grind is great. Uh, that is 1095 high carbon steel for that blade there. Um, that's going to be a uh, uh, cleaver. Could you scroll back up? Sorry. 4.09 inch blade right there. Um, so, uh, I mean, this thing is really fantastic. It's super lightweight. Um and it also comes with this great leather sheath here. Um, just a fantastic deal. Uh, those are coming in at what's the what's the retail on those? We're not a hundred percent sure yet, but we think it's going to be between seventy and ninety dollars. Between yeah, between seventy and ninety dollars, somewhere in there. Um, uh, like I said, this is the new knife section. Like, yeah, literally, the, we got these last. Literally, night. just got them. So, um, when the show airs, been, we'll actually probably put the price up because yeah, we're we'll put the price up a week out. Yeah. So, so um, 
this thing is absolutely fantastic and uh i I love it. It's a great weight. It's super lightweight. For ten ninety five, it's a great price too. Yeah. Uh, for the amount of blade that you're actually getting, yeah. it's uh, I, I believe uh, uh, seventy two twenty three is what we will sell it for. Seventy two twenty three. Obviously, we just whipped out our uh, cards there and uh, paid for it immediately and didn't even ask about price. I no, it no. Was, I just knew I wanted it because there is a, uh, oh man, did, well, I mean, and did I leave the other one on the table back there? Go ahead and grab it. We'll go ahead and get this one out the way too. So when it, it's... when it comes to Condor, you know, you know about what it's going to be price wise. Right. And, uh, you know, you know where they fall and, um, you know what you're getting too, because it, it's fantastic. They're all made in El Salvador, um, and I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. He's trying to swim that one into the. Uh, into, oh, that's that's. Uh, here comes the bad boy. We'll lead yeah. into this section too, because uh, in case you haven't heard, we got a bunch of Essie stuff in. Yes, we did. We absolutely did. But, by the way, great knife. If, if we even have them in stock, I know we're already, like, a lot of people here has already been eyeballing to get yeah. them yourself. We'll try to get more of them, but this is definitely going to be a hot seller, especially something to take with you if you're camping. Oh, yeah, it really absolutely. Just looks, I mean, it's, it's cool looking, dude, yeah. so why not have it, yeah. the, especially at the price. Here's the bad boy. Oh, my goodness. We got SE stuff back in, and we're really excited. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff with this X-Pack cleaver um, right here. Now, this thing is fantastic. It's a that monster. I was talking to Shane about beast. it, and he called it the Hoss. So. That's the Hoss. Yeah. I mean, really, you can use this, I would venture to say, I would use it as not only a camp knife for like cooking and cutting stuff up but also as a chopper oh, um yeah. like mean, think of all the body parts you could chop with that the limbing trees <laughs> not humans <laughs> um and it this is a really cool thing too and it's it, it's kind of trivial because you're not really going to use it for anything but okay uh, we're going to look up close here you see the cut out here so uh, SE knives are made that's in Idaho. Del that's Delaware, right? That's Idaho. Jeez. <laughs> Someone help me, please. So it's got the cutout of Idaho in the blade. And this is a very, very thick blade. You can see right there. I think, um, I think the camera likes the Yeti better. The camera likes my Yeti cup. Uh, you can buy those in our store as well if you want to. Um, yeah, those are fantastic. Uh, we're not trying to sell it to you, though. Yeah, just, um, just you know. It's so, non product placement, product placement. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's supposed to be totally subliminal. But um, we're here's not, the thing: we buy a lot of the stuff that we have here. Yeah, so a lot of this stuff that you see us using, we we I mean, we have to pay for it. We don't get this stuff for free. Um, the store buys it, and then we buy it from the store. So yeah, I don't get paid. We we I uh, just give them my paycheck back. <laughs> um, but, but the cool thing about this is what what I'm trying to say is uh, they're made in Idaho. That little blade cut out. They put it in the box, so you're not losing any steel here. Um, I just dropped it, but you are getting. Let's see if it fits. Let's see if it'll fit right in there. Well, of course it fits. It was cut was, out of was this you blade. Was you bad at the shapes game as a kid? Oh, that's so satisfying. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so um, those are in stock now. Uh, you can find those. We'll put the link to that one the price in the description on, I below. Got that one right there. One uh, seventy fifty. Yeah. One seven zero five ten handles. Zero. I don't know if you wanted to read the specs on that. I mean, we'll put a uh, we'll put a link actually in the description. We don't like for, reading off a bunch of numbers, but it's, we'll, we'll also put a link in our description below for all of our SE knives um, because uh, we got restocked on. Uh, a lot of our, a majority of our uh, SE knives. Oh man, it um, was like Christmas. And I know a lot of people have been really frustrated with that. We've been out. We haven't been able to get any. We, we are huge SE in. fans so, ourselves. Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, oh, oh, clearly, look, I didn't even. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, shout out to uh, oh yeah uh, Dustin from Dustin. Uh, Wazoo Outdoor Survival Gear. He yeah. gave us this hat, some of these necklaces. Yeah. Uh, these these necklaces are really really cool. I might as well just take my hat off too. Go ahead and show that hat on the thing. Um, so, you, oh, you've still got the thing inside Well, of it. I keep the paper in it because yeah. I don't like it to crease. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's cute. 
Um, oh yeah, my name tag's on. So uh, this hat is really cool from from Wazoo. There, it uh, comes with uh, some hidden pouches right here, uh, ferrocerium rod, and hidden pouches inside as well. So really cool from from Dustin there at Wazoo. Show how that works. And uh, the um, so this is a necklace. It's also a fire starter. This is a ceramic piece. Um, you'll also be able to see mine in the background here. Uh, right there mine's the white one um give but, her a spark uh yeah these are fire starters with the fair you know, have to scrape mine. some of it off yeah those. fail there it goes these spark a lot too well if you're not me well you got you gotta get the right this is how i do it oh there you go i pinch i pinch the necklace together Oh, that's a good idea like yeah that we, you know we didn't actually get a demonstration from dustin and on those I, so there it was yeah, wow see, so I was showing this to my friends, and they like I don't really use a ferro rod. I use a pick lighter because I'm normal. Um, That's debatable. <laughs> but it's it's cool. Uh, a lot of some of my friends that do use them say that that was the most sparks that they've seen come off something yeah. like that, especially for the size that it is. So. Yeah. So moving on, uh, more new knives. What have we got? What's in the case? What's in the case? All right, we're going with one of yours, or we'll see. No, we got some new knives up here. Yeah. Let's go start with this one. This one's really cool. So uh, in the last show, we featured um, the uh, black and blue uh, carbon fiber weave, or fiber weave, um, from Case. I did not have this one. We up. just got these in, um, and these are the uh, green and black fiber weave from Case. Um, and this is the shotgun pattern. Uh, uh, no, not shotgun. Gunstock. Jeez. Gunstock. Uh, I couldn't even think of it. Um, Maybe so, we should get some guys on here that know th something right? to do about knives, right? Yeah, right. My Jeez. goodness. Oh, my gosh. I'll beat you to the comments. And <laughs> hopefully they'll get rid of those microphones because those are so distracting. Oh, God, they're awful. Why would they, why would they have something to talk into? <laughs> Maybe people just want to see our face more. No. Is, that, is that what that's it is? That's what it is. No. Give, give them a good... No. Give, see? Let them see that mug right there. See? Yeah, that's what it is. You know they what? Want, they want to see the mug more. That's what it is. I knew you liked me. It was Just because you couldn't see all my face. It was a hidden compliment. You know? <laughs> but um, this is a knife show, anyways. so let's talk about the knives. So, this is that uh, case uh, green and black fiber weave. Um, it's coming in at $69.99. Um, and it's got their True Sharp surgical steel mirror polish finish blades with the nail nicks, and these are the long pulls. So uh, you can take that, take a look at that. That's that's something that's really cool. No, no badge on this one. Um, that's, yeah, that's no no badge on this one. Um, no shield at all. Um, so that's something that that's another very look modern how, uh, take on that. Contrast with that cup right there. Yeah, it does. It kind of looks cool. That, I mean, if there was something that screamed, I'm Irish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, the and again, these are the long pulls, and it's on both blades. So that's something. It's an interesting um, design. Really cool. Well, I was, when you showed it to me, I was like, well, I, I'm not I like I've it. seen that. Yeah, so. it's 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 very different. Um, and the long pulls obviously harken back to uh, the uh, a lot of the original patterns that came out um, many many years ago. It's got the uh, spear point blade as the main blade and the pin blade here. Um, it has uh, brass pins and liners and is 3.75 inches uh, closed. I'm going to close that down. It's, it, I mean, it's a great size. It's, I like it. It's, that's, a, that's a really cool little ditty. Um, and I like the, uh, the modern feel of that one. Um, how do you feel about that one? Oh, man. So we just talked about the, the blue one the other day, and I really liked it. Yeah. Um, it's different. I don't know if I would buy it. I, I kind of like having a shield on mine, but I know some people don't like having the shield badge, whatever you want to call right, it. Um, right. It's called a, whoever you ask. It's called something different every time. Um, I would, I would say if it, they had it a little bit smaller, I'd probably get it. Yeah. Um, like I said, I've kind of fell into the uh, the pocket the hunter, pocket the, hunter. the smaller size. So, so yeah, that's the only reason I wouldn't get it, just for the fact I feel like I had to buy more of that same right. one. Um, but yeah, I. It's pretty. It's cool. I think it's neat how they're doing it, and I think it's cool to see the changes they're making within yeah. the company, stepping into the you know 
the, the new century. Right. Another new knife we've got, and this is not just a new knife, but a new brand um, that we are carrying now. Uh, they're not really, I mean, it's not a completely new brand. They've been making knives for a while, um, but we just started carrying them, and that's Bradford Knives. This is the Guardian 3, um, N690 blade steel, uh, great full tang fixed blade uh, with the G10 handles. Um, that thing is just solid, and I, I like the grippiness on the handles. Um, let's take a look at that one up close. And personal there. That stone wash blade. It's a um, solid looking knife. It is. It's, it's reminded me of something that I can't really think of right now. What what does that remind you of? What a would, knife. What would you compare that to? I don't know. Um, a knife. I'm going to smack you. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, I, hmm, I don't know. I, I feel like... Th- if you guys think of what this reminds you of in the comments, let me know. Yeah. It's, it's, let us know what you think this reminds I, you I of. I think it's got, I, first of all, the name of it, I don't know. If you got if your name's Bradford, your last name, I think that's a strong name. Like Bradford. I am yeah. Bradford. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have a strong jawline, and he's going to be a lawyer in Savannah, Georgia, is what Bradford you made Jones it sound like. Bradford Jones here reporting the daily news. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I like the I like the texture on those handles i mean it just it fits in my hand really well i could see where it might be a little small for someone with larger hands because it fits in my hand so well um just got these small hands. i i don't have small hands but i don't have big hands either my, you remember the burger size. king commercials yeah for the <laughs> yeah um great sheath um gonna be like a scout carry type sheath um <clears throat> and i mean has it got a way for you to loop that in right there yeah Okay, yeah, cool. And I mean, that's really thick, really heavy duty leather, and it's been formed properly. Um, that's just fantastic fit and finish, as far as I'm concerned. How much is that one coming in at? Uh, there it is. One nineteen ninety nine N six ninety blade steel, full tang, solid fixed blade. Uh, gonna be. 0.13 inches thick um, and uh, 6.75 inches overall with a three inch blade length. That thing's fantastic for 119, 120. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. What do you think? I, I like it. I don't know if I'd buy it, but I, uh, I don't like the way my hands, everybody's got different hands. Yeah. It's not for my hand. Some but, things fit, some things don't. But I will say I absolutely love the look of it. Yeah. So, and I, you know, the way they've done their handles is very grippy. Yeah. Um, Which, I mean, is a big thing for a lot of people. If you're going to, if, if you're going to have this out in and, the elements. Well, and let me say this too. Like I'm still, I still haven't bought, bought one yet. Um, I'm trying to get my custom one from uh, James. Yeah. Um, but when you're out there, like in a bushcraft survival kind of thing you realize how quickly a smaller blade comes in handy yeah uh, yeah so like i would recommend even if it's not this one you, if you guys are out doing that stuff uh, having you wouldn't think it but having a smaller knife works a lot better especially when you're trying to do like v-notches and uh, ha- doing controlled cuts yeah. absolutely so yeah that i would see this being perfect for you know whittling a stick down to whatever you need it to be yeah yeah so yeah i like it not for me, but I still doesn't mean I don't, can't like it. So. Right. Um, we got one more new knife. One more, and this one I do like. Well, we lot. told you guys last week that we were going to have a lot more fixed blades on the show, um, and uh, we've definitely come through on that. This oh, one I just is noticed that okay. absolutely gorgeous by V knives, and we should have this up too. Um, <clears throat> we do have this up right now. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, one you couldn't find, and I told you where it was. Yeah. Listen, I won't fix you dinner tonight. You keep talking like that. That <laughs> <laughs> was my night. <laughs> oh wow. Um, this relationship these are just new. Got real these weird. are really new to us, right? Yes. Yeah, like uh, we've again. Not- this is right along there. Right there. Right along there. Right there, along with uh, Bradford, um, with uh, the. Cattleman Cutlery, as and, well and, and as, as well real as, steel. As well as these, well, that's what I just this said. This kind of, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just that apparently. Was a lot of wells. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> the well. This is water, y'all. Well, that was a lot of wells. 
Um, I like so, whales. So, Can this you make is a that, whale noise? Uh, that whale. A whale. I've made you make an animal noise. This is the part of Finding Nemo with Dory. Yeah. <laughs> we need to find Sydney, Australia. So, this is that V Knives. Um, what's the name of this one again? <laughs> Frontier. You are Dory. Frontier. <laughs> Survivor Coyote. We're having entirely too much fun with this. Um, fixed blade. Uh, now, this is a really cool knife. Let's show it up close and personal there. Um, this is that Frontier Survivor Coyote in uh, Coyote Brown G10 handles. Full tank construction. 5.125 inch D2 tool steel drop point blade. That's a lot of D2 steel in that. Look yeah, how thick that, that is. That, that is. is a very, very thick blade. And um, now this is really cool, uh, and I want to note this. There's some really cool things going on with this sheath that I just noticed. So this is a Molly compatible sheath, and um, you can adjust it to fit onto different size belts. Um, you can make that adjustment so that it cinches up nice and tight, doesn't have any up and down play or wobble there. And uh, the way you actually disengage this is really cool. So you just pull up on the button there, and it pops right open. Then get it on your belt and just push it in, and it snaps in. Also, I just noticed this. This is really cool. That's a pull-through sharpener on the sheath. You're not going to talk anymore. Are you really? I was watching the screen. I didn't know you had something. You you were you were directing me. I was listening too. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac is enthralled with everyone else. Awesome. Yeah. So. Not sharpen while still on belt. Yeah, do not try to use this pull through sharpener while it's on your belt, folks. That, yeah, I know that sounds absurd to have to say, but there's still people that don't believe McDonald's coffee is hot. So, um, that's all we're going to say about that. A uh, disclaimer on these cups, too. Like, I went and poured coffee in it, uh, <laughs> I waited like a, a solid 30 minutes and thought I was going to be good, and yeah. it still scalded the roof of my mouth. Yeah. So, um, like, maybe, like, when you first pour it, leave that lid open, let it let it vent out a little bit, because unless you're trying to drink co your one cup of coffee over the next five hours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeti cups work. Um, Very well. And uh, that V knives, that one's coming in at one fifty two ninety six. Um, so really solid blade. I like that one. I love um, that our prices are always like throw you off guard. We're <laughs> one fifty two ninety six. Yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> I have found that to be interesting too, and it, it makes it very difficult to predict anything because they're all over the place. One's going to be like twenty six forty two. Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there, you know, there's all these numbers. Why, why only use the same one over and over again? So, all right, next knife. Um, now we're getting into our picks, right? Yeah. So you want you go first this time. I go first, you go first. with my budget pick. Budget pick. All right. So this is the part of the show we did it last time. Um, this time we're going to do again our three picks: budget, mid range, high end. Um, budget is going to be zero to fifty dollars. Mid range is going to be fifty to two fifty, and high end is going to be anything above two fifty. Um, my budget pick is going to be our queen uh, saw cut bone canoe. Let's take a look at that one up close. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I have absolutely fallen in love with this pattern um, and this knife in particular. Um, it is our queen. You can see these have the long it's pull. It's our queen. Long match strike pulls, um, the satin uh, bolsters there on each side, and that is the brown saw cut bone. Um, the closed length on this is going to be 3.625 inches. Um, these are going to be, um, can you scroll that down a little bit? Those are going to be, uh, I believe, 440 stainless steel uh, blades on those. Um, 
it just absolutely gorgeous. And I love this pattern. I've always loved canoe patterns. Um, the match track pulls are there. The half stops are there, just like you're going to find on our Rough Riders as well, built into these queens. Um, and just beautiful workmanship and craftsmanship on these. Uh, great walk and talk. And um, I just, that... That's just a beautiful knife to me. And that one's coming in at $29.99. That's my um, budget pick right there. And uh, I really like that one. I like that one a lot. I like it, too. Especially, uh, you've been beating me on these budget picks here lately. And I don't know how I well, feel about it. When when we go budget, I'm going to go budget. My budget is still like, I don't know. It's It's a healthy budget, I guess. Show me your budget. My budget. So I went with a house brand here. So did I. And uh, we both went a traditional route this time. For we did. Budget. Yeah. Um, so I went with the Rough Rider Cinnamon Stag, well, Bone Stag Trapper. Um, why do I like this knife? Well, I'll give you one reason. It has an acorn on it. <laughs> it's not not the best reason in the world but uh i just thought it was really neat looking he likes the acorn the acorn yeah you, <laughs> you might say i'm a little nuts um so uh okay, I'm, I'm, that, you know in a fun fact i'm allergic to tree nuts so it's kind of like i'm holding something dangerous walking on the wild side there buddy <laughs> jeez let's talk about this one um so you're gonna see match strike pulls oh we've got the long pull and the nail nick um but match strike pulls on all of these, um, both blades, open that up, and it's, that's going to be it's got a that Damascus, Damascus blade. This thing is gorgeous. Can you get the lock to hit that um, right? With half stops, there it is. match strike pulls. Um, let me let me actually clean that off just a little bit. Yeah, I was smelling it earlier. Yeah, I thought that was your snot. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at that right get it around on that side yeah it's very pretty it's uh, a gorgeous i love pattern. i love the, the the bone stag in it i i like the handles everything about it just kind of screams manly half stops <laughs> max match strike pulls this is a very burly knife yeah yeah um and i love that spay blade right there um that's just fantastic slant our bolsters on those um it's 4.125 inches closed, weighing in at 3.95 ounces, and coming in at 28.99. Again, as with all these, you can find them uh, it just in the links in our description below. Let us know what you think about our picks too. Yeah. Like, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, we also have this the same style, well, the same uh, you know series, cinnamon bone, in you know different styles, different like, patterns. Yeah, new, uh, uh, we've got a bunch of different patterns there. So. Um, so that's your pick, your uh, budget. The, pick. the, the budget you keep. Um, now uh, let's go move on to our mid range pick. Mid range. Your mid. This is where you start to outpace me pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Well, if we're gonna do a mid range, I'm gonna push the push the envelope here. I love this one. Let me have a moment over here. With He's fondling my mid range. Smells good and new. Um, so. <laughs> fondling your mid range. That went wrong in every I, every word. <laughs> <laughs> I went with for my mid range. I went with the Spiderco Spidey Chef. Um, could you pull that one up for me? Um, yes, master. Uh, I love every little thing about this knife. Uh, I think it's classy looking we're going to look at it up close here um i think it's beautiful uh, it is an ambidextrous pocket clip uh tip up only um coming in at 234.50 lc 200 in blade steel so you talked about that before right i have yeah i have we did an lc 200 in uh, blade steel video um you guys got to check out our blade steel series if you're yeah. you're kind of on the fence of trying to learning like what's the difference in this stuff yeah we we really go over um what the difference is between these different blade steels this one's lc 200 in so it's going to be ultra corrosion resistant which is great for a uh, what it's uh, a kitchen what it's called a uh, spidey knife. chef uh which would make for a great camp knife with that curved blade you're going to really be able to rock and uh get all the way through whatever you're cutting there and this is what they're labeling um, right here this is a cool thing that they're s selling right yeah here. Um, it's, it's, so what makes it so, um, 
corrosion resistant. It is a nitrogen based alloy. Um, and I went over that in the uh, blade steel uh, video that we did for it. Um, and uh, it's actually used by NASA for the ball bearings in aerospace applications. Um, so, uh, fantastic knife. I love the action on it. I it love give, the titanium it, When you open it blades. back up, it gives you that room to do those roll cuts. That's what I just said yeah, just yeah. a minute ago. Oh, you yeah. did? Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I was, I was looking your stuff up for you. You weren't, you weren't listening to me. But 3.32 never... uh, inch LC 200 end blade. Coming in at 3.8 ounces for that size of knife. It's super lightweight, um, very comfortable, and very flicky. I like it. Very flicky. Yeah. What's your uh, mid-range? My mid-range. What did I go with today? Oh, yeah, I remember. Now, this one is, uh, I guess people are going to have mixed opinions on this one. Uh, I... I, I'm not going to lie, when I first saw it, I thought, that's one ugly knife. Yeah. Um, but then I, it grew on me. I started looking at it every day. I noticed that it had M390 steel in it, which is a very premium steel. Um, and, uh, woo, did you hear that? I love this thing. This is the Kaiser Cyber Blade. You flicked the heck out of that. Man, I love this thing. It's got a thumb stud, but I, we were talking about this earlier that me and TC have practiced, you know, spotty flick and stuff so much that now using our thumb feels awkward. And so, um, <laughs> what we've decided, I don't have a problem still using my thumb. Um, I know, but I'm de Isaac is de-evolving, essentially. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the whole point being... We've evolved into humans so that we have opposable thumbs and we're uh, more in mechanically inclined. And um, Isaac is de-evolving over here just by the introduction of knives into his life. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of sad there, Isaac. See, oh. it's not fun using the thumb. Um, you see, he's de-evolving too. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> so this is Isaac, Isaac's uh, mid-range pick here. Um and that one's coming in at... That one's hard to... It's not, it's not wanting to focus there. There, there we, go. we go. That one's coming in at $89 even. $89 for M390 Kaiser with that kind of flick? Cyber Blade. I'm going to tell um, you right now, this is the best budget knife as far as everything you're getting in it that I've seen. Yeah. Here at, at our store. It's, it's fantastic. And for M390, um, I mean, you tell can't me a, beat tell, that. Tell me a better deal. There's not one for I, M390. I know, I know some people are probably going to think this is the most stupid-looking knife they've ever seen, but I like it. Um, it's a great deal. It's got great steel, and it grows on you the more you play with it. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my God. I love a that Terrible thing. choice of words there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, this one's going to feature a 2.16-inch M390 stainless steel stainless steel tanto blade um, with that satin finish and beautiful grind work i like uh when there is uh, when you can see the grind uh lines on there i, I love it does that add a nice touch to it yeah it, i mean it just makes it look tough to me i don't know why uh, it is a liner lock it is 3.25 inches closed and 5.41 inches overall right there It'll get you um, out of a car. And weighing in at 3.03 ounces. Yes, and it will. It's got a glass breaker on this the This was tail. also why we were talking about Fords in the beginning of the show. Was uh, The Cybertruck. This, this is kind of what it's designed <clears throat> after to look like. So, yeah. at least that's what I'm told. Uh, so. uh, that's a neat little deal. I like it. Yeah. I, like your I actually bought this one, so um, it's going home with me. All right, Looks now, like you're more addicted than I am. I'll so. go. I'll go first with mine because yours is like way out of the park um, compared to mine. <laughs> so, um, high end fix. And let me pull mine up. Do, 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 do. I think mine's right here. Alrighty. So, I went with the uh, Hogue Exploit. And uh, what made me pick this one? Well. One, it, yes, the, I realize this is the high-end portion of the show, um, but as you'll come to know, my high-end is most people's budget or mid. So, um, But this is the Hogue Exploit. I've always wanted an OTF. This would be the OTF I bought first um, at $271.96. It is a, a great deal. 
and I'll let you show it off right here, and we will read the specs off on it. This thing is really cool. I like that one. That's a that's a good pick on your part. Two seventy one ninety six, um, CPMS thirty V stainless steel blade, uh, matte gray anodized aluminum scales there, um, ambidextrous trigger deployment. So it's it's an OTF, but it's on the top, not on the side. So it's that's going to be naturally ambidextrous there, um, and it's automatic both ways. So no cocking, um, and uh, it is a ambidextrous uh, tip down pocket clip. Um, so that thing is fantastic right there. It feels That's, good in the hand, don't it? Yeah, it does. It yeah, feels sturdy. It, it feels it's a good size blade on it too. So um, yeah, it's very very cool looking. I like it, um, and it's simple at the same time. Yeah, I don't like too much going on on a on a knife handle. Yeah, and between these and the Protex, they're they're some of my favorite automatics. Yeah, but we just it's hard to get a Protex in here lately. We, yeah, uh, they're uh, well. I mean, they're like a lot of other people. They're it, it's it's love everybody's the everybody's behind. Yeah. So, all right, you ready to go on yours? Yep, my high end is uh, kind of out there. His his uh, high end is my ten percent down on my my home. <laughs> Uh, I come across this one today. I had not actually seen this one. This is the Heretic Wraith. This is the first time I'm feeling it. Um, I actually like this. And didn't we say of this one was coming in at 449 or 440? I have no stats. Somewhere on this. in there. Uh, coming in around 440. Um, it'll be linked in the in the description down below. Um, it is an out the side automatic. Um, carbon fiber handles, solid carbon fiber handles. Yeah. It, it does not feel like it would be an automatic. Super, super duper lightweight and pops Man, right out there. Man, it kicked your hand back, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> um, <laughs> that thing is intense. And, uh, we're going to take a look at that one up close and personal right there. Man. Look at those handles. Freaking, you get what you pay for with this look one. Look at those gorgeous handles right there. Um, now this thing is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it almost shimmers, don't it? Yeah, like it's that's a yeah, that's a wide, thick blade on it too. Yes, it is, um, and it moves out there really nice. Uh, L Max steel on that blade, um, insanely lightweight. Um, L Max steel. Feel. Why? Yeah. Because why not? Yeah, because why not? It's L Max. <laughs> um, now I want to note something uh, on this one. The the thing that I've noticed about this one that I think is really cool is the button. Um, they they it really went the in, they went right. the safety route. It's it's right there. Um, but the cool thing about it is it is flush with the scales around it. So you you can see there it doesn't sit proud at all. Um, it's a good size. But what that means is there's going to be no chance because there's no. Um, lock on this one so there's going to be no chance that it actually springs out on accident there so that's what i like about that one um <laughs> so it, it's it's insane um i like that thing i like how lightweight it is i like that it's l max really cool yeah. well that's uh that's um uh, sorry greg's writing us notes back here uh <laughs> yeah it's so uh we we need to wrap it up uh oh uh, uh, Richie, thank you for the uh, the nice rack back here. And uh, <laughs> Richie, you are awesome, dude. Um, He's been watching it, so he must like we, us a little bit. We love filling up your case here. Um, I love filling up your racks, man. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> so uh, we have jokes here. <laughs> Uh, if you if you like this case right here, uh, get in touch with Austin Richie. We'll have a link below. They're great. Um, he's an awesome dude. He donated the case to us, and uh, we absolutely love it, dude. Thank you so much. Um, so that concludes all of our picks. Um, and throughout the show, you have seen some new products for our store. You've seen the Yeti cups that we've been using. Um, you've also seen in the background, hopefully, uh, in a couple of the shots here, you've seen our SMKW coasters right there. They are uh, genuine leather. Um, smell them? Yeah, you can smell it. It's brand new leather. Um, it smells good. They come in this uh, really cool little holder there. And we've also got our koozie right here that you've seen. 
Is it QZ? And we've got our keychain with the same Sasquatch SMKW logo on it. So, folks, check those out. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we've had a blast. We've been in the comments with you down below. Let us know what you think about all these knives. We definitely added a lot more fixed blades this time. Oh, yeah. Um, what were we carrying today? Oh, yeah. What are you carrying? we got to make it quick, though, because we're running out of yeah, we're memory about, space. All right. Real quick, SE4, S35VN, that is what I'm carrying. Custom walnut handles. We sell those online. Uh, I got it here. You can get it here. That's my cell. That's my pitch. That's what I carry. Uh, I've got my CRKT Minimalist um, in D2. That's our exclusive right there um, with the black stonewash finish. Um, that's what I'm carrying today. So You got it here. That's what we sell. That's what you carry. Yep. You got 45 seconds. What you got? All right. Well, folks, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, stay tuned for some this really cool Isaac. stuff. No, absolutely not. If we carry it, we cut it. If someone, San please, Diego, have a great night. Pray for me. If it cuts, we carry it. God bless America. <laughs> I think it's funny, and I think I'm going to make fun of it on the show, too. Well, hey. What's up, everybody? Are we starting? Are we? Hey. Hi. <laughs> I guess. But oh, wait. Right, we're close again. You, you can scoot over at least an inch. Or two. Off the side of the table. Yeah, thanks. Well, I'm on the side Appreciate of the that. table. Look at my elbow. Where's your elbow? <laughs> That'll be a good one. <laughs> that was actually pretty genuine. <laughs>